All right, here we are with another one of many Flash video players provided by MasterFlash.net. Uh, this one basically teaches you how to call streaming and progressive video and uh, basically allow the player to determine between the two. Um, again, this is a sample video. This is just showing uh, bits and pieces of the uh, several hour video tutorial that this one is, which you can locate on MasterFlash.net. Uh, basically right here, I'm going to drop you into the end of part two and just let it roll out for a few minutes. All right, I'm going to copy this, paste this down, flip this vertically. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so I'm just going to kind of even this off over here. Is that going to be a good size? Let me bring this out a little bit more. All right, yeah, so that's good. So all I need to do really is just grab onto this free transform tool, slide this out here, and take a little bit out beyond the border. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, and slide it up top to about right there. I'm gonna drag this over to the left, oops. Just like that. And I'm also going to, uh, I don't know, maybe grab just a little bit of this, copy it, and paste it up here, I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees, either direction, just kind of slide this over here, and line this up with the actual FOV player, all right, of course what I need to do, I need to fix this up a little bit, just going to drag this down to that, and drag this down, all right, and come over here to the right side, sort of crop most of this off. It's a little too much. Actually, I'll zoom in here and fix this up like this. Do the same thing down here. So zoom back out. It's gonna somewhat be what our player looks like, except for I'm gonna throw. Let's see what color is this? Um, I'm gonna throw a bevel on this, so I need to turn it into a movie clip. So I'm gonna hit F8. Call this uh, player frame one. So I already have a player frame in here. All right, and I'm just gonna put a bevel on this and a drop shadow. And I've got a preset that I'm gonna use on this one. I'm just gonna use this right here. All right, it might be too much of a drop shadow, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this play button up somewhere over here, maybe right there. Oops. All right, maybe that wasn't a good idea. All right, I'm gonna clip all these components off. All right, maybe find my uh, components layer. Paste it on that and see what this looks like. Slide this over here. All right, see how that looks. All right, looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this uh, um, seek bar or the uh, scrubber, call it a scrubber, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and there's some art in here that I don't want to have a part of this, so I'm just going to kind of grab it right there and delete that off. Grab uh, this other art that's in here. Why can't I grab that? And delete this off too. All right, zoom out. See what color this matches in there. It looks pretty good like that. So I'm going to basically take this out in the center, free transform tool, a little too far. Should be good. 
Got to slide this out about there. Let's see, how much space do we have over here? All right, that's about, no, maybe seven pixels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, drop this to uh, 522. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Maybe uh, put a six in here. Add on two more pixels into that, eight. <laughs> Take one off, seven, all right. All right, so let's see how that looks. We got our kind of scrubber sort of built in down here. Okay, so um, what I need to do now, our scrubber doesn't really match well in the black back here. So I'm going to come in here and change the uh, arrow color. And the arrow color is going to be over here. All right, right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to double click in here. Grab that. I'm going to make this the same gray. All right, that way. That's pretty good. All right, well, I think I'm happy with it. These lined up. Stop button's a little close to the pause button. You got, oh, I got to put the uh, scrubber back in place. How's that look? All right, it looks better. All right, so really I'm just going to drop this up on the stage. And I'm also going to change the color of the scrubber as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stretch this out. or well, not stretch it out, but I'm going to stretch the mask out. So if I take this, all right, I need to take this uh, art around the mask off. All right, and what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm really just going to drag the mask all the way over here just to cover this part of it. All right, so once that's done, I'm going to lock that down and make it invisible. That way I can come in here and grab the uh, this right here. Now, you've got two options. One, you can double click in here, double click in here again, and then double click into each one of these sets of uh, little art in here for the uh, buffering pattern, I guess. Um, or you can make, do it the fast way by just applying a um, tint directly to uh, the main part of this. So if I came in here, put a tint on it, maybe put, uh, I don't know, how about the same color gray as our player? Well, it should look all right. So if we publish this, you only get to see it for a second. You might not catch it on mine. See if we can get it to show up. No, maybe not. Republish it. There we go. In case you didn't see that. That is the end of the Flash Video Player streaming progressive video. To find the source files and the full video tutorial, go ahead and visit masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.